All right, so time for a tutorial. It's been a long time since I've done a tutorial, and uh, today we're going to look at um, keying out the green using motion as opposed to using the chroma keyer in uh, Final Cut Pro. We're going to use a keyer in motion, and I've found uh, that it's a lot faster, about 75% faster than doing it with the chroma keyer in Final Cut, and a lot of the time you also get a better key. So if you're a Final Cut user, and this tutorial assumes you know a little bit about Final Cut and Motion. Uh, if you're a Final Cut user and you've been using the Chroma Keyer exclusively, uh, then try this out and maybe you'll like it. Got some footage here from a corporate. Let me shot in front of a green screen. Uh, lighting's okay, not the greatest, and the actress is only about two or three feet, believe it or not, in front of the green screen, which is not optimum, but it still works and Motion does a fine job with it. So, dragging the footage down into the timeline like so. Giving myself some space here so I can drop the photograph or the background underneath. Grab the photo, throw it in, and that's the photo that we're using. It's a nice scenic view of something, just a picture I grabbed. All right, we want to put that behind her. The easiest way to uh, send it over to motion is just to right click and you're going to tell it send to motion project. Just going to call this YouTube. Don't care where I save it. I'm just going to delete it later. Motion opens up. There she is. Shrink this down so you can see what's going on. Now, if you know a little bit about motion, hopefully, if not, it's pretty simple. It goes to motion. You want to click on the group. You want to put uh, the filter that we're going to apply. You want it on the group, not just on the clip itself. In this case, it wouldn't matter, but if you brought in some more clips when you did that send to motion thing, if you add it only on the clip itself, it will only apply the key to this clip. What you want to do is tell it everything under the group you want it to key out. Go up to Add Filter, Keying, Prime it RT. Everything goes purple goes to hell, no problem. Your heads up display, right here or wherever you happen to have it. If it's not on, you can click on it up here and get it. You've got it right there. You want to click on mat. There's your mat. You want to move the noise removal all the way to the left. Like that. You want to move the mat density until she or the actor or whoever is completely white. Right down in there. All right. Now you see you've got all this noise in here. That'll still come out as green stuff. So we want to go back to noise removal and move it until it's all black. Don't go crazy with it or you're going to get some jagged lines here, but just move it until everything is nice and black. There you go. Now you want to go up and you want to go processed foreground. Boom. Still purple. That's where your spill suppression comes in. Move this down. You can get it more closer to skin tones. Now you're not going to get it exact. You're still going to have to do some color correcting and final cut, but that's fine. What I've found Better to err on the side of green than purple when you send it over. If you leave it like a magenta, it's harder to color key, at least I've found that. So I move it down until it's just a touch on the green side. And I found it makes it a lot easier to key. So there she is, a little bit green, but all this stuff is nice and blacked out that we're going to be able to see the image. And of course, this stuff up here, we're going to take out, we're just going to crop it in Final Cut, okay? So we're pretty much done with that. All you got to do to send it back to Final Cut, File, just save it. Now when you go back to Final Cut, there it is, keyed out. If I want to crop out this size up, by the way, this up here, that's glass from the teleprompter. If you want to key it out, or excuse me, crop it, of course, you just go up to your Motion tab there, go into Crop, and you can just crop it out. And down there, and take out the top. Now that's all cropped out. The image isn't filling the frame, no problem. We've got a big enough image. I can go up here and I can scale the image up like that. So now she's in front of the river, like so. And there she is. Now, for color correcting. Nobody ever uses just the plain old color corrector. Everybody uses the color corrector three-way because it's a better tool. But for quick and easy stuff like this, you can drag your color corrector, just the plain old color corrector, not the three-way. Double-click to open her up. I go up here. Okay, now because it's just a little bit green to bring out the skin tones a bit, I go a little bit magenta, I bump up the whites, I bump up the mids, I bring down the blacks a little to keep some contrast, and there you go. So there's your key, you can play around with the color corrector a little bit more, but hopefully that shows that 
just by sending to motion and fiddling with just three things instead of the umpteen things you can fool around with in the Final Cut uh, chroma key here, just by sending it over to motion, you've got a decent key. Now you can color correct, play with that a little bit if you want to, but you're pretty much done and uh, ready to rock and roll. That's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully uh, it helps out a little bit. I saw some text on this on the net, but I didn't see any video, so I thought I'd uh, participate in the game and uh, do another tutorial as well on this one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you later. Happy editing. Bye.